Hello, this is John from AppPressor, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to the AppPressor product and how it can be used to create a mobile app from your WordPress website. For starters, let me quickly explain what AppPressor is. AppPressor is a suite of plugins and a theme for WordPress that, put together with PhoneGap and some other technologies, allows you to put your WordPress site into an app. The reason that we do this is because with many of the traditional app builders, it can be difficult to get a lot of the WordPress content into your app. Things like plugins and posts and having the ability to customize it through WordPress. The end result being an app that once accepted to the App Store, you can still modify its content, design, and functionality directly in WordPress without having to go through the App Store review process each time. How AppPressor works is that you install plugins, configure some settings in WordPress, and then we wrap the app using the PhoneGap framework, which lets you put it into the App Store for both iOS and Android. You can then use native device features like push notifications, camera, geolocation, and fun things like that, all through WordPress. So with that, I'd like to walk you through the basic process of what it takes to use AppPressor to turn your website into a mobile app. For this walkthrough, I'm going to use my personal blog, VegasGeek.com, as an example. First up, we need to install the AppPressor plugin and any of the extensions we'd like to use. For my example app, I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm only going to be using the Share and Swiper extension, which you can download from AppPressor after you make your purchase. Next, I need to install the mobile theme. An important distinction to make is that unlike a normal theme installation, as you do for your website, in this case we simply need to upload the theme to the server. We do not want to activate the theme. Your site's current theme should remain the active theme, and the ION theme simply needs to be installed. Now that I have the plugin and theme installed, I'm going to head over to the App Presser settings page. On the main settings page, I'm going to set up the app-only theme, meaning it won't affect my regular visitors. I'm also going to select what content I want to display on the home page of the app. In this case, I've chosen to use a static page I've created rather than displaying a list of my latest posts. On the Advanced tab, I'm going to check the box titled Load App Presser for Admins Only. Once this is checked and saved, this will allow you, as a logged in admin, to get a simulated view of the mobile app. This is just a quick and easy way for you to get an idea of how the app is going to look after you've done some color changes and things like that. A little later, I'm going to show you how to preview the app on your mobile device, so really, this is just a quick simulation. Next, I want to show you how you can customize the overall look of your app using the customizer. Back on the App Presser settings page, click the Open Customizer button. The first tab we'll use is the Site Identity tab. I do want to point out that the two items with the red asterisks will in fact update your live website as well, so please be careful. Items without the asterisks, like the upload logo, will only affect your mobile app. The next tab we'll check out is the Colors tab. As you can see, there are a bunch of color options for you to tweak in order to customize the look of your site using the color picker and not writing a single line of CSS code. The last tab we'll check out is the Menus tab. In here we're going to choose the menu selection and from here you can see that under primary menu I've already selected the app menu. It's, this is a different menu that I've set up in, in WordPress other than the main menu that's going to be used on my website. So this is an easy way for you to have pages that are specific to your app or your main website and keep them separate. After I save these settings, my app is now ready for some testing. To do this, I'm going to use an iPhone app called the App Presser Preview, which is available for free in the iOS App Store. When you start it up, you can type in the URL for your website or choose from the history to load your site as an app from your phone or tablet. With the Preview app, you can now interact with your app just like an end user will. This is a great way to test functionality, plus look and feel prior to submitting to the App Store. As you can see here, I can test the slider, native sharing options, and the menu. And here on the content page, you can see how your users will be able to interact with your content to share and leave comments using a beautiful interface. Next, I'd like to show you a few examples of some apps built with AppPressor 
to give you an idea of what can be done. First up is Pioneer Pest, an app built for a small business that enables their clients to provide helpful information about the work needed to be done. Next up is Devo Stories, a blog turned into a beautiful app that shares their content, including embedded video. Next we have Life of Dad. This app includes their blog, but it also includes a social network that they've built using BuddyPress. This allows their users to communicate inside of groups. Another app that uses BuddyPress to create a social network is PressChat. As you can see, it allows for group discussions, but it also uses add-ons such as the camera to allow users to upload pictures. The last example I'll show you for now is Hotbook Deals. This app uses some custom development under the hood to provide users with daily access to discounted books. These are just a few examples of what can be done with AppPressor. You're really only limited by your imagination and what you can do with WordPress. While this is obviously a quick look at the process of building an app with AppPressor, if you visit docs.appressor.com, you'll see the documentation available for AppPressor that explains these steps and many others in much greater detail. Before I go, I'd like to quickly cover a couple of frequently asked questions we get here at AppPressor. The first being, can I use my own theme? Rather than using your own theme, you'll want to use one of the AppPressor themes, and the main reason being, Apple doesn't want apps that simply look like a website in an app. Our themes are built to look like an app and to work smoothly with the extensions, which will help your app's ability to get accepted into the App Store. You can, however, create a child theme and make as many customizations as you'd like. Another question we get asked a lot is what plugins work with AppPressor? Well, most plugins will work in the app. There are some exceptions, of course, and you may need to build some custom code based on what you're trying to do. But by and large, you'll find that most plugins will work just fine in your app. I hope this video has shed some light and maybe gave you some ideas about how you could use AppPressor to build your own mobile app. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at our website at AppPressor.com with three Ps or on any of our social channels. Until next time, thanks for watching.